Hello guys, this is Kevin and today I wanted to show you guys how to overclock a Ryzen processor. The one that I'll be showing is for the Ryzen 3 3200G. Um, this is, this you can use this on most Ryzen 3s I think and Ryzen 5s. But you guys can look online for the recommended speeds but I'm going to show you like the app and how you can change it. The rest is up to you. So, um, first thing that we're going to do is go into Google Chrome. We're going to download Ryzen Master. Um, and here it is in amd.com. Uh, I'll link this in the description. Now we're going to scroll down until we see the download now button. We're going to click download now, obviously. Um, and uh, we're going to wait the 16 ish seconds depends on your Wi-Fi and also your hard drive we have an SSD thankfully so that works um, so we can just wait that out okay so once that has been done installing you're just gonna click on it it'll show up with an admin prompt that's probably backed out for you guys because I'm using OBS should have used real life but mm, no but anyway okay um we're gonna wait for yep so you should be seeing this ryzen master thing um and we're going to click on um we're going to scroll down sorry and then we're going to click on i agree we obviously did, haven't read it fully but you know um whatever this is press install and the installation process usually takes a few minutes depending on your computer um, mainly because maybe for me it might be a bit faster because I've already installed it a few times um, because I've overclocked it then deleted it so I can make a video and I've done it over and over again so hopefully this is going to be the final one that I'd have to do um, so anyway we're going to click on launch Ryzen Master it's going to initialize Press OK. Now, we're already at this menu. We're going to click um, Advanced View. And this button window should disappear. We're going to click on Profile 2. Now that we're on Profile 2, we've got all these settings. First thing that we're going to do, click on Manual Mode. We're going to disable this right and now we're just going to type in a few things so first thing here is going to be 4000 megahertz for each one of the cores um you guys can probably eye it i'm not the best at eyeing as you can see but oh, i'm getting there um we've done that and make sure that you don't mess up on this part we're going to go all the way up to um 1.35 we're going to do apply so making sure that this has been applied we're going to click here and we're going to type in CPU benchmark and you can use the CPU benchmark but there's another thing you can click apply and test and that will basically push all your cores and also the core voltage to its limits to see how it's going to work um, and if it will crash your computer so I'll probably do that and speed it up so just click on it I don't think there's a need to speed it up as you can see um, it's probably the video is probably going to be laggy at this point because it's really pushing on the com um, CPU if I click here yep as I can see <laughs> encoding overload it'll probably turn down by the time the video is done but it's running through the stress test all it will do is just push out all the um just as you can see over there it's on the limits right now um so yeah all of it's working so we've overclocked the cpu and now we have to overclock the apu so what we're going to do is click on the um, APGFX control and 
press the exclude button when we turned it off earlier and now we're going to drag this slowly to 1700 and using your arrow keys you can well you would want to get it roughly to 1700 and then using your arrow keys just like get it closer okay 1700 megahertz and we're going to click um, up and we're going to click that at 1.2 and press apply making sure that we hit it a few times because I feel like that's the required step and now we're going to do the apply and test thing again but now this will push the APU too uh, so you can just wait watching all these things at the top uh, that just shows you like how much these calls uh, I can already feel a bit of heat from my case probably because this is running at its full I mean the whirring's been increased a lot I wish I could let you guys hear it, but the case, the side panel is closed, so of course you can't, but you should, you know, yeah, okay, so the stress test has been a success, and this has been applied, oh my goodness, stop test, apply, okay, um, now that we've got everything enabled, that is the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you didn't if you liked it like it if you didn't then don't um and please subscribe it's a good thing